Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about dependent drop-down lists. And what I'm going to show in this video is how you can take a, a list of data like this, where I have multiple red here. So when you do a drop-down, say from our first list, say you select red, it's going to give you the three choices of apple, tomato, or cherry. And again, if you select blue, you're going to get blueberry. If you select yellow, you're going to get banana in your next drop-down list. So very dependent. So depending on what you select on your first drop-down, you're going to get a shorter list for your second drop-down. And I'm going to be using Google Apps Script to do this. So here I go. So I got a data sheet here. Again, this is my data. No formulas, just straight data here. I got a header row here, color and food. I'm going to go to my main. This is where we're going to set our drop down. So I got my header of color and food. I'm going to put my first drop down here, which my color will be red, yellow, blue. And then food will be dependent on what I select for color. So I'm going to go ahead and create a data validation for color to get this started. So I'm going to go to data, data validation. I'm going to select a range. So I'm going to go over to my data sheet and I'm going to select this range here. And then I'm just going to add, you know, 500. So you can make it as long as you want. But what it's going to do is it's going to condense this list down. And it's just going to do a very distinct for me. So I'm going to hit OK. Let me hit Save. I'm going to go back to my main screen. And here I have a drop down of red, blue, yellow. So I'm going to build some, a Google App script that will take the value here and then condense it down to a shorter list here. So let's go to Tools, go to Script Editor. I'm going to name my project. Dependent drop-down, I'm going to hit OK. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in my function. I only got one function. It's an on edit function. So let's do that. So I copy that in there. I'm going to hit save. Now this is a standard on edit function. It's a Google Apps Script function that it'll read the whole your whole project here or your whole spreadsheet, your Google sheet, and look for a triggered action. And if when that triggered action happens, this kicks off. And then from here, I'm looking for the range. I'm taking this E value, which is an object. I'm getting the range, the spreadsheet, getting the spreadsheet name, the column, the row, and the value. So why I'm gathering all this data is because I'm just looking for a very specific cell that's getting updated. So I'm looking to see, OK, this gets kicked off. I'm getting all the data. And now I want to determine where is that update happening. So I'm going to, I'm looking for spreadsheet main, and I'm looking for column two, row one. And that happens to be our color drop down. So when I'm making a change here, it's going to fire that trigger off, but I'm only looking for the change here. So if I change G2, I don't, I'm not worried about that, or C5, I'm really looking specific to here. So that covers all this. I'm gathering all this data so I can make an if statement. OK, so now I got the drop down that's being changed. So now I'm going to grab my active spreadsheet object. And then from there, I'm going to declare my data sheet. That's where my data is and my main sheet. And that's where my drop down is. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab my last row of my data sheet. And now I'm going to do a for loop. So I'm going to go through each row in my data sheet. And I'm looking for the value that I selected on my main sheet. So if I selected red, then I'm going to go look at red here. So then once I find red, which again, this is my value that it was changed to. So I'm using that color value, and I'm getting the get value on the range changing out the row number, but looking at column A, where all my colors are. And once that equals, then I'm going to add it to this array. And that array I declared up here called return values. 
So I'm going to push that value onto this array every time I find that color. So if it was red, I'm going to be adding apple, tomato, and cherry to that array. So that's this push command. Again, I'm looking at column 2 to get the value, and I'm pushing that on. So now I got the second list. But now I have to create another validation for that drop down to show that list. So I'm going to my main sheet, which I declared up here on main, and I'm going to B2, which is my second drop down here. I'm clearing it. So I'm clearing any value that was in there before. So when this happens is if I select something, I select again, so then I go to the top, I select, it's going to wipe out that value, reset the list, so I have a new selection that I have to select from. So that's what the clear is for here. Next I'm declaring my drop down here on B2 from main sheet. It's using this drop down. And next thing I'm doing is declaring a rule, and this is starting my validation here. And this is spreadsheet app, new data validation. I'm doing a required value list, and I'm entering my array here with my, say I select red, this would be three values long, and then this is a build function back here. And then the last statement is the final thing. I'm passing my rule in here. My drop down is that cell B2, and I'm setting my data validation. And that enters those values into that list. So that explains this function. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go run it from here just so I go through the permissions part of this. So it's going to ask me for the permissions because I am changing something on my spreadsheet. So I'm going to hit advanced, go to dependent drop down, I'm going to allow and it's going to fail here, which is fine because I'm not really passing anything on this E value. This is going to work fine once I make the update on the other spreadsheet. So I'm going to hit dismiss here. I just did that to get through my permissions. I'm going to go back over here to my list. Now I'm going to go ahead and select my color. I'm going to select red. For there, my second drop down popped in. So I can make these any of this choice. If I slip, select blue. It's going to give me blackberry or blueberry. If I select yellow, then I can select banana. So that is my dependent drop down list using Google Apps Script. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. And until next time.